Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on introduction to R programming for clinical SAS programmers. In this series, we are exploring SAS programming feature equivalents in R Tidyverse package. In this video, we will see how to transpose data which is organized in the form of long format to wide format. Let us say we have this data set in which there is one record per subject per lab test CD. So there are three records and on the first record the LB test CD is HGP and uh, second record it is ALT and third record it is AST for subject 1001 and in the variable called LBSTRESN we have the results associated with those tests. So let's say we want to organize this data into this format. So wherein we want to create a one row per subject here and a separate column for each of the tests. So we had three tests here. So we need a separate column for each of the tests and one row per subject. So how do we do this in SAS first? We'll see. So as we want to keep the values of subject uh, as column itself, we need to specify that in the by statement on the proc transpose. So whenever we use a by statement in any of the procedure, we need to make sure that we will have to pre-sort the data based on those set of variables. So for that same reason, we have added a proc sort step here and sorting the data based on new subject variables. So on the by statement, we keep the variables which we want to remain as columns. So we are using that and then we specify the variable value whose values we want to transpose and on the where statement that variable name has to be specified on the where statement and we also need to specify whose variable values we need to use for the newly created column names. So we are creating some new columns here. So the newly created column will have some values. So that values, the uh, variable containing those values have to be specified on the var statement. And the variable which contains the names of the newly created variables have to be specified on the ID statement. So when we run this piece of code, this data set would be generated using SAS. So how do we do it in R? So in our tidyverse package, we have something called as pivot wider. So pivot wider in the sense, so when you want to convert data to wider, so we'll have to use this function called pivot wider. So parallel to these three statements, which we have used in uh, SAS, so which are by statement, where statement and ID statement, we have parameters for this function called pivot wider. So the first argument for the uh, pivot wider function is the name of the input data set. And the, we have a parameter called id underscore calls. So which is equivalent to our by statement. So don't get confused with this id id here. So we have uh, id statement to specify the name of the variable whose values will be used as the names of the newly created columns here in proc transpose of SAS. But here ID underscore calls parameter is equivalent to by statement. And then we have a parameter called values from to specify the name of the variable whose values we want to transpose. So this is equivalent to our var statement. So in fact, the name is more meaningful in pivot wide function because it is saying that which values, uh, which variable values you want to transpose to. And then we have a parameter called names underscore from to specify the name of the variable whose values we need to use to create the newly created, name the newly created columns. So here we have this parameter names underscore from which is equivalent to our ID statement. So ID underscore calls is equivalent to our by statement in proc transpose. Values underscore from is equivalent to our var statement and names underscore from is equivalent to our id statement so this is how we can make use of uh, pivot wider to get to the same result that we can achieve using proc transpose to get the data from wide uh, long to wide so pivot wider is used for transposing long data to wider data so let us now see the demo of this let us try to organize our sas and r studio environment side by side So now we have it side by side. So let us try to run this code which creates our input data in which the data is organized in long format. So we'll now use 
the sort step to sort the data based on the values present in use of JD and then run this transpose. So we are naming the input data set is on data is equal to option and naming the output data set using out is equal to option. And as we want the column values of u sub jd to remain as columns, so we are specifying that variable on use by statement. And then as we want the values of uh, lbstr esn to be transposed, we are specifying that on the var statement. As we want the values present in lb test cd variable to be used for renaming the new columns, so we are specifying that on the ID statement. So let us run this entire piece of code once and then take a look at the output data set. So the output data set is called wide here. So now here if we see we have for each subject there is one record and for uh, each of the tests that were present we have a separate column created and in the row corresponding to that subject we have the values corresponding to each of those tests. So let us now see how this works in R. So let us try to clear our work environment and then try to run these two pieces of code. So using the run button here. So now this got run. Let us open the wide data set and then take a look at uh, both the data sets which are generated using SAS and also R. So here we have one row per subject and one uh, column for each of the test CDs that were present in LB test CD and the values associated with those tests are present on the respective subjects rows. So this is how we can make use of uh, R and SAS to transpose data which is organized in long format to wide format. Thank you for watching and keep learning.